don't think I'll ever get bored of this. Oh. Oh. I thought I'd spice the smoothie up today. I popped two balls of frozen spinach in there. Oh, it's really good, but the cranberries are very tart. In other fantastic news, the hot water is working again. I thought he was going to come. Well, me and Maddie were skeptical that he was even going to come at all today. You know what? You know what plumbers can be like? Back when I used to live at home, it seemed that my mum would always try and get a plumber in because we were getting a shower today because the water pressure in Surrey is like horrendous. So they're getting like a proper jet shower put in. And every time she would book him to come, he would always ring up and say, oh, I can't come, I've got a cold, I can't come. Like one time he said, it's because it's raining, I can't come. This guy came this morning, he was great. Annoyingly, he came just after I'd finished doing the washing up. I had to use, a, I had to boil the kettle and use that instead. But I'm not complaining. Maddie will be annoyed because she just showered at the gym. I think she's on her way back now. Something you encounter when you're self-employed and working from home is that you don't get out of the house very often. I did get out of the house yesterday because uh, I was buying ingredients for our brownie recipe in Maddie's video, but I didn't film it because it was just me walking to the shops and back. And I also went out this morning, but again, I didn't film it because I just, I go down to the same place on the, uh, the beachfront, wander around there for a bit, have a sit down. You've probably seen that enough by now. I'll leave it for a period of time before I start filming that again. I've also started leaving my phone behind because I used to take my phone and listen to music, take pictures, listen to audiobooks, and I feel like it's better just to leave that behind and just completely clear my head. Instead of focusing on the audiobook, you're focusing on other more important things. But I would like to get outside again, not least because the builders are being quite noisy. Maddie's birthday at the weekend, and there was a shop in town that I did want to pop into and have a look. Got to go there at some point this week. I meant to go yesterday, I went wandered past it yesterday, but it was shut, shut on Mondays for whatever reason. I would like to go in there because they have a sale on, just to see if there's anything that catches my eye. I do already have Maddie's main present for her birthday, but it would be fun to get one more small thing, perhaps. It's only Tuesday and I'm already looking forward to the weekend because we'll be doing fun birthday stuff and um, relaxing. Not that I haven't relaxed enough in uh, recent days and weeks. But we were working overtime last weekend, so it'd be nice to have a weekend off. Yeah, my boss at my old job always said, always have three things that you're looking forward to. I don't know, for some reason that saying, saying, you just made it up, that just stuck with me. When I was working at my old job, I'd sort of plan things at the weekend, I'd plan if I had any holiday, I'd like, I'd try and find somewhere to go on holiday for a few days with Maddie. But now that Christmas is done, you, you kind of look forward to Christmas because you think, oh, Christmas, New Year's, going to London, seeing friends. There's always, there's always like three things around that time of year, but now it's January. I'm trying to find some more things to look forward to. Now, obviously Maddie's birthday is one of them, and then it's my birthday next month. Maddie suggested a couple's bike ride tomorrow, which I like, the, <laughs> I like the sound of. We haven't been cycling together in a long time. Not since we moved to Brighton, unless it's been just to like go into the town center and back. Yeah, when was the last time? I don't remember. I think we did one longish bike ride in Cornwall, maybe. Before that, it was Canada and <laughs> Bali, and yeah, that was about the last time. Months and months ago. So that'll be fun. But I said, do it the day after, because apparently the temperature is going to be in double figures. So I think I prefer that. But I think we definitely need to start doing that more at the weekend, going out on bike rides. Especially because there's so many people out cycling, it adds to the enjoyment when you're passing people. Work. Maddie just popped back in as I was finishing up. I was talking about the bike ride you suggested. Yeah, do you want to do it? Yeah, but I think we should do it the day after because it's going to be warm. Tomorrow is my like day where I do some kind of fun activity like outdoors. That's what I decided. So I don't want to spend every day in the gym. Okay. So well, I'll we'll see. I'll see. I'll, I'll check my weather forecast. So I've got two days. Wait, how many days a week are there? How many days of the week are there? So, so I don't mean literally seven days. Yes. So I've um, got two days rest. So that's five days I'm gonna be doing something. Yep. Four days in the gym. Yep. And then one day like just doing a nice activity like going for a bike ride, going for a run, going for a walk, something like that. Okay. Either by myself or with you. I just think it's a nice thing to do each week. Mm -hmm. And um, ease my way back into cycling. Yeah. Sorry, I was just thinking off camera, that's probably really Well annoying. you didn't want to be on camera. Because I felt really tired. Oh. You sound tired. I am really tired. Oh come on. I didn't 
I worked until about 9 p.m. last night and then went to bed at midnight and then woke up at 8 and I felt yeah. like I've been hit by a bus. We need to uh, we need to stop saying we're going to fix our sleeping patterns and just do it. Well, no, it's not that. It's, it's, I know last night was... We had was a lot a, of work. I know last night And was um, we had to work at the weekends and you went home and it's just been a lot. Hmm. It's not been things like do, usual routine. Things do keep coming up, but at the same yeah. time... We're getting, the, the, the idea for January is to get into a routine and yes. once we're in a routine it will be fine. Look, I've got like a natural blush, it's so cold outside. <laughs> I need to eat something. Yeah, I was saying the last time we went on a couple's bike ride must have been... It makes it sound really late. I know, because you, you, you messaged me that kidding. phrase. I, <laughs> I was kidding. <laughs> the last time must have been in Cornwall. Well, I think we did like one or two rides in Cornwall maybe before we came here. Yeah. After we came back from Canada, we did like a few there to the beach and stuff. Yeah, we've been but since we've been here, it's been like to, to town. That's it. We haven't done fun one. No. I miss it. I miss it. It's been quite a while. Yeah. Yeah, it's before Christmas, wasn't it? Oh well. I window back the windows and come back, again. come back again. I window back the windows. What do you mean I? Why did you say? No, you I did it. it. I did it again. Why? Because it had come come back completely. <laughs> So I don't know if it's just because the heating's on that it's getting kind of moist. I don't know. Because I swear, last time, before we got the window back, we cleaned it with a tea towel once. Mm -hmm. And it was dry, and it stayed dry till the next day. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if the window back... I don't know. It is cold out. Whatever. Right, where's my smoothie gone? Lovely. I haven't got one of those paleo bars, please. Oh, you got it. Thank you. Maddie's gone paleo. <laughs> I was just about to say, yeah, I'm paleo now. No, these are just really nice. What are they called? Paleo bars. Paleo bar, macadamia and coconut. Five real food ingredients. Dates, cashew nuts, coconut, macadamia nuts, almond oil. That's it. And they're really yummy. They're from Aldi. If anyone is interested, yeah. <clears throat> they're like 40p. And they're vegan, gluten-free, cold-pressed, fine fibre, vegetarian, gluten-free. They're not they bad. Are, they are vegan, it's just obviously that it hasn't been certified vegan, but they are vegan. What's this? Fluffy flour. Oh. 400 and... No, that's not right. Let's see how much protein you get per bar. Nine grams. Amounts per bar. 210 calories. How much? 45 grams. So, four-ish grams. Is that it? Was it more oil than nuts? No, no. But it says 7.6 grams per 100 grams. Why don't I just say it per bar? I don't know. Is it to make it look better on the packaging? Yes, because people read it and they think, oh, it's got 7 grams of protein. Oh. And it's got about 13 grams of fat. Per bar? Yeah. Okay. Maybe they're not that good for you. Well, hmm. Whatever. They taste nice. They taste pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, you did fry onion. Oh my mm. gosh. Oh, it's like a hot dog. Yeah, are these done, do you think? Look pretty done to me. Yeah. Okay. Where's the label? Label? Label. These are the sausages we got. I think these are the ones I had at Christmas, like wrapped in the um, veggie deli bacon, mm. like pigs in blankets. They're really good sausages. They are nice. I prefer them to the Linda McCartney bits. Yeah, they're a different type Can of sausage. I try sausage. a bit? You... Get your own. Oi! Get off. There's like loads of, there's a whole <laughs> thing over there. Look at all that steam. It's kind of uncanny, isn't it? Yum, yum, yum. What should I have? Huh? What should I have on it? See, this is what you do. You like, I would do one with like just classic What's this? What have you done to this? I do one classic sausage mustard tomato, probably. Oh, and I do yeah, one yeah. with avocado, tomato, jalapenos, and hummus. And I'm here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. A three. These onions. Mm -hmm. 
finally, the piece of resistance. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Eating like a king today. No. Ah. Well, okay, this tastes like pins. Or Where did you get these, Maddie? They were sent to me. They're Just... called Nicks and Kicks. The people who run Dry January messaged me or, or emailed me, and um, because I think they'd seen my video I did on going sober or not drinking, and um, they asked if I wanted to be sent some of these. They're like a good like drink to have. Alternatively, if you're sober, if you're going out to your friend's house or something or if you're at home and you want like a a nice drink that feels like you're drinking alcohol this is not sponsored they they sent it to me but they're not they haven't told me to say anything in a video or anything can you taste the cayenne no oh. that just, it will just give it kind of like a, a kick yes. can't taste it though this kind of reminds me of pims it's cucumber and mint and i had one earlier which was mango and ginger and i knew that would be my favorite it was delicious hmm. alex has got peach vanilla swap Oh my gosh. Let me try. It tastes like frubes. Does it? Yeah. They got a bit uh, beaten up in the post. It does. It tastes like frubes. I think my favourite flavour was the mango one. But basically I think because when I, when I went sober, I did find it a little bit tricky yeah, it's just like to begin with, to take what drinks to take to people's houses. Because I was, I literally only drink water and tea. So... I'd go to people's houses and be like, oh, like my friends, and I'd say, oh, just have a glass of water. And then I, I found it a bit strange to kind of do that. So um, I used to buy like non-alcoholic Prosecco or champagne, that type of thing. But those are a bit sickly. And this actually is really nice. And to have a drink that makes you feel like you're joining in with uh, the... Yeah, it makes you feel like you're joining in because you're drinking out of a can type of thing. Oh, yeah, it looks like a gin and tonic in a can, doesn't it? Tastes like it too. It gives you the feeling of having a Pims or... I've only had a couple of sips, but I like when drinks, like I like sugary drinks. I don't think it's got sugar no, in I it. I think that's the point. Like, I, I hate it when, you know, your teeth get a bit like fuzzy. You can yeah. Tell you've had a like, sugary drink. Most non-alcoholic like drinks that are aimed, aimed at people for being, who are sober, are very sickeningly sweet and they have a lot of sugar in them. This is all natural, no added sugar and absolutely no boredom. The kicks bit, happy, exciting flavour kick from Chili Grown in Bedfordshire, UK. So yeah, all vegan, local brand. I'm happy to share them with you guys. Any of you are sober or interested because I think it's awesome. So Alex is going to be doing a schedule. We're going to be doing a schedule with this vlog channel now. So we're going to be doing uploads Monday to Friday. So that's what we're doing and we hope you enjoy it because it's gonna make it easier. Deal with it. And it means that we'll have five videos every week. Some weeks maybe we'll only have four if we're really busy and we'll like smush two days together, but. It's what we were doing just before Vlogmas. Yeah. For like two a week weeks. Or two. Before that, we, I was doing it right, it'd be like two or three if that a week. Yeah, so we've had a happy medium yeah. and um, one of the weird videos we're gonna try and do most weeks, not every week, but most week we'll try and do like a cooking video, like, um, Alex and Maddie kitchen type of thing because I really enjoyed doing that mince pie video yeah so and obviously I'm cooking a lot now on my channel so I'm gonna be doing more recipe videos so it kind of ties in with that and maybe some of them we can like film the whole process mm. or I don't know we'll do some fun uh cooking videos because we cook so much together yeah and I think it's interesting especially simple food we cook we're always cooking new food we're always cooking and I'm always, because of having to edit and film in a day, when we cook, I'm always like, oh, I don't want to film this because I just want to cook and eat. But when we like do it specially, it's much, it's, it's fun. Mm, make it a whole video. Yeah. So yeah, and um, is there any other video requests? Let us know, but we'll be doing just probably normal daily vlogs, right? Yeah. With the occasional. Um, Are there any yeah, like we... things you want Alex to talk about or videos? I know that some of you said you'd love to see more cycling vlogs, so definitely do I that. I'll be doing more cycling. I mean, I'd love to do like, like a video a week on that, but no. I probably won't. Uh, but I'm but not going to be, sorry. Here you go. <laughs> because it's January, I've barely been cycling at all. So yeah. it's been... But I'm not really going to be vlogging as much on my channel because I was doing like weekly vlogs over yeah. there, but Oops. I found that I was, it was too much to do weekly vlogs and film everything I was doing. Also filming on vlogs in this channel and then also 
making videos because a lot of my day, I, a lot of days I spend just sitting at my computer. So I was finding that kind of tricky and I um, was mm -hmm. in the new year, I just thought, you know what, scrap the weekly vlogs idea. I'm just gonna upload videos I wanna upload and do more uh, vegan content because that's why I started my channel to make vegan recipe videos and vlogs and stuff. So uh, I'm gonna just be doing that. So it'll probably be only the occasional vlogs on my channel. So on here, if there's anything I wanna talk about, like for example, maybe if I go to the, after being at the gym for a while, I wanna share with, like, my workout routine or if, I don't know, I wanna talk about no poo or something, my hair or just random things that don't, Nece won't necessarily fit or no poo would fit on my channel but I don't know if there are any topics that you want me to talk about that are really not related to minimalism or veganism then let me know and let Alex know because we can like talk about it you Sounds know good to me yeah because I know lots of people have second channels for that reason just to kind of talk about all the stuff outside of maybe what the theme of their channel is so I want to do more of that on here rather than over on mine that suits me just fine I can take the day off you do some videos. Mm, mm, mm. I haven't tried this yet. You did. I didn't. Mm. Well, you've had it plenty of times at my mum's. Yeah, but your mum's a good cook. My mum's? My mum and dad's. Compared to you. I'm just going to ignore that comment. You're I'm a bad cook. I'm not. I think we all know that. I'm better though. If we had to rank it, it would be me, your mum. Oh, I've, I've got the cup. You. I've got the cup where wrong around. What? Oh, kitty. Yeah. The only thing I don't like about these mugs are they're left-handed Yeah, mugs. they're left-handed. Why? Maybe I know why. It's because it's not meant for other people to see. It's meant for you to have a look at it. So when you're drinking, you get to see the cat. They should have it on both sides, really. It's like when you get, um... Mmm. <laughs> oh, I haven't had this ice cream in a while as well. How do I you say think... it? Huh? Please. Glass. Yes. Good night. Oh, that was quick. I just decided. I'll Maddie has decided. I'll do I've decided I'm done. See you later. All right. Maybe Jeez. one of these days I'll take you to the gym with me. I went to the gym for the first time in ages. Be sure to stay tuned for lots more window vacuum content because I, you know, I know you love it and I love it too. So yeah. Bye. Five. Oh, if it's not, I'll be so mad. It's five. It's not five. Yes, it is. It's five. No, it's not. It is. Who's he? Oh. Where's Charlie? Charlie. Huh? It's such an effort to say her name. It's obviously in my brain trying. It was such an effort because I was having to say it outwardly. Where is she? I don't know. Why, why did you want that? I was dreaming about it. She'd gone missing. We were staying at her house and she went missing as soon as we got there. She went down, she went away to get something and she never came back and we were like, what? there were two other girls and she was just like, they were like, oh, she's probably just gone to see Tom, like it's fine. I was like, what do you mean it's fine? We're visiting her. And then, um, I thought she was in the basement. So I shouted, I went, Charlie, Charlie, and I heard someone make a noise. And I was like, okay, she's in the basement. So I whistled, I went, and then someone went backwards, and I was like, <gasps> so then I went to the basement and kept on doing it, and then I couldn't find anything because I was so sleepy, and like I had headphones in, and I was obviously this is me coming into the real world. Because I had headphones in, like all I could hear was the song. And I was like, oh, go away, song, I want to hear Charlie, see if she's there. And then I woke up and both of our legs were being decapitated by like a horrible big dog underneath this car. So I, I thought, oh, there's something under there. And I grabbed it and it was a bloody dog and it bit my hand. And then I was like, where's Charlie? Have you got Charlie? And I thought the dog had Charlie. And what I was did like, the dog say? And then the dog had your leg. And I thought, well, great. Charlie's been eaten by the dog. You and your legs are going to be decapitated by the dog so I just yanked you out and he took like a chunk of your leg with him and then I started shouting Charlie Charlie then I woke up and I, I got so creeped out oh no then I went back to bed and I like I tried so hard I was literally pushing with all my might to say her name why I was wanting to say it in the middle of the night you had some weird dreams but obviously it was me trying to say it into the real world but I was just like <laughs>
Charlie, did I say it loudly? You didn't say it. No. I thought you were talking to me. <laughs> you were in here with me. Yeah. Why? Because I came to wake you up. Yeah, no, what did I do when you came in? I thought you were awake. Yeah. Because I, th- I thought you When were... you came in, I was already saying it. Yeah. What was I saying? Are you recording? Yeah. Alec! Oh my...